Hey class, in this video I'm going to be discussing the suggested folder structure that you should have on your computer or external hard drive that would work best for this class. So, uh, to begin with, I'm working on a Mac computer and some of you may have a Windows computer, which is fine. Uh, right here, what you see in front of me is what's called a Finder window in the Windows operating system that would be called a file explorer. What I want you to do on either computer, whether you're on Windows or Mac, go ahead and open a Finder window or a file explorer window. On the Mac, if you were to go to your taskbar, you can click on this icon here that looks like a happy face and you click on that and it'll open up a Finder window. And similarly, on Windows, there should be an icon that will allow you to open a file explorer window. Once you have the window open, locate a place on your computer where you will be placing all of your work for this class. Now, if you're working on a laptop, I suggest getting an external hard drive or using an external hard drive because laptops will eventually run out of space, especially if you're using it to store uh, photographs, which are which take up a lot of hard drive space. Okay, so uh, for this example, um, right now what you're looking at is my desktop. You can see that here, it's on my on the left side. And similarly, on the Windows File Explorer, you may see locations of your computer on the left-hand column. Uh, I could be on the desktop. I can either place a folder here uh, and, and do that. Or for some of you may have what's called a pictures folder. Uh, both Mac and Windows have a pictures folder. So to get to my pictures folder on a Mac, I have to go to my home directory. And the home directory is usually located uh, with your name of the user on there. And I'm going to click on that. And then here you'll see a pictures folder. Okay. And similarly on the Windows, uh, there you may already even see a pictures directory on the left-hand column here. Uh, at, at any rate, it just find a location that you can remember where you're going to be placing all of these files. The desktop is a very obvious one, but sometimes it can get very cluttered. Uh, so you can always opt to choose some other location. In this case, let's go ahead and choose the pictures folder. Okay, so I'm going to click on the pictures folder here and you'll notice there's already some content in here in this folder and that's okay. What I'm going to do is create a brand new folder here and I'm going to call it the name of the class which is photo one. So I'm on a Mac again and I have programmed my my mouse on this Mac to have the right click button available on my mouse. Now if you don't have that available on your Mac you can always click on the control key on your keyboard and then click on your left button of your mouse and then this secondary menu will appear okay once again click on the control key on your keyboard and just click your mouse normally and that secondary menu will appear okay and keep this in mind uh, for those mac users out there in the preceding videos that you'll be you'll be watching some of these videos uh, I'll be sharing with you were created by another instructor who's on a Windows machine and uh, she will be mentioning right clicking uh, and to view to activate that secondary menu. So keep that in mind. If you're a Mac user, you're going to have to hold the control key and hit the mouse button. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and click a new folder and then I'm going to call this photo one. OK, and what I want to do. Uh, within the photo one folders, I want to also start creating subfolders to keep my files organized. And what you could do is create subfolders based upon each assignment. So the first assignment you're going to have is called A01 as in assignment one. So I'm going to go ahead and create another subfolder here and call it A01. So as you go through the course, you will eventually have more subfolders, A02, 3, 4, 5, etc. And whenever you're photographing and downloading your images, make sure you download them to the appropriate folder for that assignment. All right, and that's it. 